everybody, my name is Ice Pipes, and you're watching Chasing Your City, brought to you by Smoky Mountain, Relic Room, and American Digger Magazine. Today I'm here with my buddy, Eamon. What's up, Isaac? Eamon Yeager. How are you? <laughs> good. Good, good. All right, so what we're talking about is why we need to get all these bones out of the ground before they get destroyed by Mother Nature and the natural elements. Absolutely, you're, you're, you're absolutely right, Isaac. You have to save these bones, essentially. You know, once they get close to the surface, they really don't have much time at all through the erosion process, which out here with winter is pretty quick, before they just become destroyed. And so, yeah. you know, the, the bones themselves really aren't rare. I mean, mm -hmm. like, there's dinosaur yeah. bones everywhere in these badlands. Um, it's just a matter of finding the right places to look. Um, you have to look on private land. You can't do, do anything on public land. No BLM, no national forest, no yeah. state land, anything like that. And so it's kind of our job to come out and find these bones and rescue them before they just turn to powder. Yeah. And so. <clears throat> Like, here's a good example of this one that uh, my dad found, Chase Pipes, which is um, just got totally destroyed because there's a bunch of roots going through it, and it, like, the glue was, we were running out of glue, but, I mean, it just totally gets destroyed by roots and stuff like that. Oh, like yeah, natural absolutely. Elements. Yep, yep, roots will come in, they, they're kind of attracted to the bones because of the minerals, and they will just destroy the bones, too. So you have to be very delicate when you're working through these bones not to pull the roots from it, <clears> <throat> otherwise it'll just, you know, crumble essentially yeah, just turn to dust <laughs> so yep so what we do now once we get these bones out of the ground you can see they're in foil to kind of hold them in place essentially so what we're going to do now is we get them home into our prep lab you don't really want to prep anything out in the field and we slowly peel this foil back to go ahead and just expose the bone itself and as the bone starts to fall apart if any of it does we glue it as we go and then we put these bones back together and we clean them up we, we bring them back to life essentially mm -hmm. um, you can see this metatarsal duckbill toe here this is a pretty nice specimen, actually. It came out in two pieces, unfortunately. But you can see this guy's embedded into a rock layer. So we take air-scribed pneumatic tools, and we'll air-scribe this bone out very slowly. And, uh, you know, it, it vibrates. It doesn't even really penetrate the rock itself. It just vibrates the rock off of itself. And so it should be good for the bones, but, you know, it'll, it'll take the rock away. Yeah. And so, yeah. Really, anybody can get out. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's so cool that you and your dad are out here. Yeah. Um, anyone can come out and look for dinosaur bones. Yeah. You really got to go about it in the right avenues. And you can even do it if you just get off the couch, out, off this YouTube, first watch this video, then go do it. <laughs> go. Make sure you actually ask permission to do this because you can't just go on someone's private property and you can get... That's really bad because it's not going to be really good at all. Um, ask the ranch owners if you are able to search. And ask some like dinosaur girls who've done this to ask which rocks to, to see what, how to find dinosaur bones and to see what layer it is that you're actually starting to look for. You know, a lot of it is just hoofing it. It's a lot of footwork. Um, you know, if you get permission from a landowner, which you should, um, you know, you, you can go out there and just scope every inch you can. I mean, cover every inch of badland that you possibly can. Isaac here is a great, hi a great hiker, so he's very fond of going out and just scouring the badlands as he can. Yeah. So, yeah, so it's really important that you just follow the basic rules, essentially. And, uh, you know, don't, don't, don't poach bones off of public land. Leave them where they're at. And uh, if you want to go out and collect them and save these bones before they turn to dust, do it on private land. Thanks, my buddy Eamon Yeager over here. What he can do is he can take you out dinosaur digging to dig all these kind of dinosaur bones, even these sizes of dinosaur bones, and this and this and that. Every kind of dinosaur bone. Check him out on his Facebook and... Yeah. Yeah, so we have a, a small paleontological company based out of Whitefish, Montana. That's called Northwest Montana Fossils. Um, please feel free to check us out on Facebook. And uh, we do indeed take people out digging. And we'd love to show you how to come out and do this the correct way, how to work with private ranchers, and how to dig these bones out correctly so they don't turn to dust. And so it's very fun. It's a very healthy avenue, and we would love to see you. And also, be safe while you're out here uh, because there are grizzly bears, and we don't want anyone being hurt or harmed. Because that's one of the main dangers out here in Montana. Yes, absolutely. Right. Thank you for watching. Check out our Facebook page, Smoky Mountain Relic Room. And check out our Instagram. Go follow us on Facebook, Instagram. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to follow us on our new podcast, Chasing History Radio. And you can listen to our podcast then. Thank you much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon, so you get notified when you when our videos come out. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> what about History Rocks? History Rocks! Woohoo!